Hello, uh, this is your teacher, Professor Nirmal Kumar Swai, Department of Library and Information Science, MDU Rotak, India. So we are developing a couple of, <coughs> sorry, video lecture series for you, for especially for our students, and the others can also be get benefit of. This is the target uh, uh, listeners or users are the doctoral students and others also can get benefit. So we are discussing academic integrity and plagiarism. In previous lecture, we do discuss about copyright, copyright act, and fair use. Okay. So now we will uh, discuss about uh, uh, this uh, plagiarism. Plagiarism is, uh, as I told you, many videos are available in my uh, channel. Uh, you simply go to YouTube and uh, uh, type Nirmal Kumar Swain, S W A I N. So you can uh, able to see some of my videos uh, related to this. Uh, we have uh, largely discussed uh, plagiarism in different videos. Here, uh, you know, copying uh, plagiarism is a kind of uh, unsocial act, it is stealing, it is copying and pasting, and uh, you know, uh, unethical acts. So, many ways many tags can be ascribed to this uh, plagiarism acts of an author. But now the question is that, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes in uh, the, uh, we discuss about uh, the intentional and unintentional. Sometimes in our uh, judiciary system also, uh, judiciary system also, stealing is defined in many ways. If someone steals the same thing A and B, but A is uh, treated as a culprit or the thief, but B is not. Under what circumstances A and B, two persons, steals the same thing? Okay, so the court or the judges are looking into it. So similarly, if the judges uh, look into the matter, if uh, someone uh, did the work, uh, did, uh, I mean, stolen something uh, on the basis of uh, to feed his belly or uh, to you know, to under some pressure kind of things or unintentionally, then probably the judgment or the punishment is lighter or sometimes uh, free also. So similarly, the case is here like uh, uh, the plagiarism act, uh, if someone did uh, intentionally un and unintentionally. So you'll be surprised to see that uh, is it so that sometimes it does happen uh, unintentionally, yes. You know, depends upon, in our Indian case, even I would say, there are universities uh, in city-based uh, metropolitan universities, then remote universities uh, placed in, because India wants that our, uh, the entire uh, humanity or uh, the um, entire, uh, you know, nation should be studied and educated. So, there are um, uh, largely the students uh, attracted the rural based people, those who never write substantially, when they enter into the, uh, you know, the research uh, arena, so uh, they never uh, even pressurize to work hard or to uh, do some kind of, uh, uh, some kind of labor, so that uh, some kind of labor, so uh, some kind of labor, so they won't be interested and they sometimes they think what would happen suppose even my PhD scholar once a couple of years back they said uh, sir suppose there are a whole library is there and authors are dead also uh, and if I, if I uh, you know copy even a few lines or paragraph or pages uh, how would it you know defame the, the authors who is no more in the society. So this kind of, uh, they are not uh, oriented with the ethos or the ethical aspect of, of doing work. Okay, and when, whenever we teach them, okay, there are, there are options if you want to copy something from, or you want to borrow rather, no, don't use copy, rather borrow or lend certain things from other works. And there are uh, provisions, so these are the provisions. So then it's okay. So, so there are uh, initial, unless and until someone is trained or, uh, imbibed with the ethical aspects, obviously, obviously uh, someone would uh, steal the things and include in his uh, own work and claim it is mine, so from different authors, okay. 
So intentional and unintentional, rather very difficult to prove. The second one is that consideration, how to prove whether it is intentional or unintentional. Again, it will go to the process of the sim similar judiciary system judges the work, judiciary system judges the work, okay. So that way, that way uh, it is uh, considered. So intentional and unintentional. So unintentional, I told you, intentional, uh, like, uh, you know, intentional, uh, again, how to prove that, intentional. Okay, there are different uh, provisions to prove it intentional, if the author is experienced, and written something about it, five years experience, 10 years experience, and previously published something, then he or she is aware of what is other's work, what is my work, what I am supposed to do in my research paper, in my book, my book review, my write-off, and, uh, and how to learn from others, how to use the sources from other uh, books or uh, things, and how to acknowledge, and someone is very much aware of and uh, so these are the criteria. These are either you interview them, if someone is able to say what is citation, what is borrowing, what is lending, what is uh, referencing, what is uh, citing the sources, what are the source details, then obviously someone is aware of. So if you, uh, if you do it, maybe, maybe, uh, so it is proved. Okay, there are cases, uh, there are ca cases which is intentional and uh, these are the procedures to uh, prove it, it is uh, copied uh, intentionally or deliberately. Another aspect is that uh, very, you know, that uh, what to do with them, those who do intentionally. So you ma we, we need to orient them, the, uh, imbibe the ethical values among them. So it may be there are other causes also why it so happened. Like a group of friends are doing and someone is a bit intelligent, maybe he's uh, or her background is okay, maybe daughter or son of professors from academic background. So someone does that, or his, uh, his uh, language, vocabulary, and writing style are okay. So, but uh, someone, uh, though they are friends, they sit together, they take tea together and eat together, but uh, they are from different background. So just for quick jump, just for quick jump, rather quantum jump, overnight jump. If someone does that, why would I be left behind. I must, by, by somehow I, uh, I, even if it is needed to, uh, but who will, uh, who cares or who can, uh, you know, catch me if I am cheating or if I am copying. So there are many intentions. So uh, the some kind of training is needed to teach them, uh, okay, it is, it is, it is, uh, like, uh, like the reputation of today you are novice, today you are just, or oh, doctoral fellow, tomorrow will be postdoctoral, then you are teacher, uh, in, then gradually uh, people would la look at you, you will be establishing as a uh, persona of uh, ideal to be followed. So if you do like this, probably nobody, nobody would care. So some kind of training can, uh, it is, unless and until the author himself or herself is uh, sure enough or uh, uh, you know, ethical enough to understand this uh, concept of uh, cheating or copying and pasting and claiming in the false authorship. So probably nobody can uh, teach them. So it is kind of ethical orientations. Hope you like it. Thank you.